So once you get a game going with a lot of different sounds, inevitably you run into the problem of sound concurrency. Dr. Harris. Yes? Do you concur? I concur with what, sir? So here's an example. So I have a sound that's supposed to be playing when I absorb this power into the staff. No sound. Same thing when I absorb it from the tree. Nothing. And it's because there are too many fire sounds playing all over. So I'm going to show you the simplest, quickest fix to this, and then we're going to go over a better way to optimize for the future. So the simplest, quickest fix, if you go up to settings and you go to your project settings and you search for concur, you should have concurred. So I'm going to switch this from maximum concurrent streams of two up to 32. And I don't fully understand the performance implications of this. I know it takes up more memory, but if someone wants to post in the comments below what this actually does, this solved the problem for me outright. But I also suspect that this isn't a permanent solution solution for me. It might be for you, but in my example, for example, I've got maybe 64 fires burning at any given time. So those 64 different fire sounds are going to take up those 32 streams. And so what I think is going to be the right solution is to use what's called a sound concurrency asset. Because at any given moment in time, maybe I only want a maximum of 16 fire sounds playing. Like maybe 16, it sounds exactly the same as 32 or 64. And that way it frees up other sound streams such that other sounds can still play. So the first thing is let's create that asset. So I'm just creating that in a concurrency folder I have. So it's under audio and then we we have to go under mix sound concurrency and I'm just going to call this default concurrency and for the default I'm going to go into that so you can take these concurrency assets and you can apply them to either individual sounds you can apply them to the project overall but the max count is going to be how many concurrent active voices basically whatever is using that concurrency how many total can there be now if I wanted to have a number of concurrent sounds per actor so for example let's say I had a creature that can make all sorts of sounds simultaneously but I didn't want that one creature making like more than eight sounds so I could say max count of eight and I could limit it to the owner and that owner would be that creature that actor that owns all those sounds and then I would just assign this default concurrency well in that case it would be a creature concurrency and I would assign it to all the sound assets that that creature is using so the max count I'm going to change that to 32 and then we go on to the resolution rule so by default this is stop the farthest sound and then the oldest sound and it says when max concurrent sounds are active stop the furthest and if all sounds are the same distance then stop the oldest so if you think of it this way so if you have a sound playing at a location it knows how far away that sound is from whatever's listening but if it's not sounds playing at a location if it sounds just playing generally then it's going to stop the oldest sound but you could also do things like stop the quietest sound if something is really quiet and you just want to kind of cancel that out in general though for five I think this makes sense because if you have those 64 fires burning you're only mainly going to hear the ones that are closest to you and there's a bunch of other settings here that I didn't really fiddle with but you can find a link in the description below that'll take you to the page the official Unreal Engine documentation for all of these settings all right so we got our default concurrency I'm going to save that go back to our project settings and in our default concurrency boom select it but then I'm going to create another concurrency so what we can do is we can duplicate this one I'm going to call this my fire concurrency and you heard me say I only want a certain number of fire sounds playing at any given time. So I'm going to limit this to 16. And so that way for the general pool of sounds, we could have 32, but a maximum of 16 of those sounds are going to be limited to fire. So if there's 64 fires, it's still limited to 16 and it's gonna stop the furthest fire sound and then the oldest fire sound. And then if I go into my meta sound asset for the fire, so if I select source here in the top left corner and then I go under voice management concurrency and we have our concurrency set here. So I'm just gonna add that fire concurrency plus sign there and then fire concurrency, save that. So basically any sound that plays this specific meta sound, it's gonna be limited by this fire concurrency. So now let's test this out. So we've limited our fire sounds and also we've got a maximum of 32 separate streams. So there's that sound. That sound, well, that's only one of two sounds playing, so of course that's gonna work just fine, but now's the test. All right, so we got a bunch of fire sounds playing all around the player, and now if I absorb it, yep, I hear the absorb sound, that's good. Now, getting a new essence. Got it. All right, final test. Now I'm going to put out a bunch of these fires. So some of those steam sounds are still getting cut off. So I think what I want to do is add a steam concurrency asset. But I think at this point you have a general idea of how you can address this. So I'll leave it at that and hope to see you in the next one.